Are you setting up a tank? If it's a tropical or marine, then you need a heater. All you need to do then is plug it in and you're done. But wait, unfortunately it isn't quite as simple as plug and play and there are many factors to consider before putting any heater into your tank. Heaters come in all shapes and sizes to fit different tanks but the most important thing to look at when picking the right heater for your tank is the wattage. The wattage not only indicates how much power it uses but also determines the tank volume it can heat comfortably. So, how do you work out the correct wattage for your tank? As a general rule of thumb, it's a good idea to follow a simple rule of 1 watt per 1 litre of water in your tank. Based on that rule, for a 200 litre tank, you should opt for a 200 watt heater. A 300 litre tank would suit a 300 watt heater, and so on and so forth. This rule works well for smaller tanks, with heaters ranging from 25 watts up to 500 watts for the larger tanks. However, there are more options to look at when you have setups that require warmer temperatures or for the larger tanks of 500 litres or more. For tanks that require higher temperatures such as discus setups, it's always worth going for a higher wattage heater. For example, for a 200 litre tank, you should opt for a 300 watt heater. This will allow the heater to cope much more efficiently with a higher demand for the higher heat. The best way to look at it is that Although a 200 watt heater could handle raising the temperature to this level, it will be working much harder to maintain this temperature and if you keep the strain on the heater it can cause it to malfunction or at worst break, which could of course cause fatalities in the tank. The more powerful heater will cope much better and also be much more efficient power wise as the demand on the equipment is much less and the temperature will remain stable. As for larger tanks over 500 litres, it is advised to run two heaters to match up to the litres of the tank. By this rule, for an 800 litre tank, you could go for a two heaters, a 500 and a 300 and so on and so forth again. It is recommended however to always have a backup heater in any tank, just in case yours fails or just to keep the temperature more stable and to share the workload. Most heaters come in standard shapes which are like a long tube with a metal element inside that heats up. At the top of this tube is a temperature guide that is adjustable to your desired temperature range. They also have lights that show when the heating element is in use. Almost all heaters nowadays will have a built in thermostat which tells the element to switch off when the surrounding temperature of the water hits the set number and back on again when it falls below. These heaters work best at the back of a tank and with a good flow of water towards them. You can get digital heaters which work in the same way but have a display that shows you a more accurate reading. You can also get small completely flat heaters which work best in nano tanks allowing them to be hidden away and take up less space in a tank. You can also get heating element wires which can be placed under the substrate to be completely hidden away and work well for long, narrow tanks or aquascaping tanks. Another increasingly popular form is an external heater. These heaters attach to the return pipe of your external filter or sump pump and are incredibly efficient as 100% of the water gets heated. They are also hidden away from the tank allowing more space in the setup. The one golden rule however to follow with any heater is that you must never let them run dry. Always switch them off during water changes or tank maintenance as if they are left exposed. With no water they will reach incredibly high temperatures and cause them to explode. So please keep vigilant at all times. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel for updates of my other videos and future projects.